Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Unwanted Danny. I haven't usually, I haven't done this video ever before. It is a how to rec room video. Some of you quest makers out here, like the quest my friend's making, might want to know how to make a certain time that you have to complete the game. I'm gonna teach you right now. Here's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna teach you. Press the start button. So the, on the first thing what play. you're gonna want to spawn in is the simple state machine. All you have to do to get your maker pen is go to. All you have to do is go to your backpack that should be right there. Click maker pen. You can also favorite it. That will make it so you can pick it up from your back. So once you're on your maker pen, click create. Or, op or open palette right there. And then the next thing that you're wanna gonna do is just simply go to gadgets, other chips, go all the way to the last paste, and find this, state machine. Spawn that down. And then you're gonna get the states right there, right next to the state machine. And then the next thing you're gonna do. Hey guys, I'm the editor for this channel, and it does um, do the most if you do like and subscribe and turn on notifications to notify when we do make another video. Anyway, I'll let you guys back inside the video. Bye. And then if you look still, you'll find the timer chip. Spawn that down. Once you spawn down the timer chip, um if you go to config if you go to configure, you can configure right here. And it'll ask you what to set your time. You can't like just put down like 12 seconds. Because that will mean it will just make it two seconds. So, Rec Room has to fix that. But if you want it Press so it takes like 90 seconds, just go 900. And then look, 90 seconds. If you want it to like be one second. There you go. That's your one second. If you want it to be like 10 seconds, so you have to use that. I guys hope you understand this, that, but I'm gonna make it so it is 30 seconds. So I have to use 300. Oh wait, also if you wanted to make it like, so it's like 30 seconds, all you have to do is 3000. 3000 and then look. Wait, no, that's 300 seconds. 30 seconds is just this. 300. But if you want it to Press be like the start 30, button on the scoreboard 300 to play. seconds and you just gotta have 3,000. Okay? And then after that, you're gonna make it... You're just gonna make it so it's on on this side. In stay, um, so you're just gonna make it so... In state, it starts right here on and off. In state, you wire that there. You don't need to do anything with this in state because we don't need that. Right now, it shall be counting down slowly, really slowly. Now, it'll just give us right amount of time to go to game chips, go to the next page. Yes, and then you shall find set game stat chip. Press the stop button on the scoreboard to play. It'll say start game and end game. You're gonna need that soon. We don't need it. We we will. We need it right now, but we're not gonna. We're gonna. So if you do it, timer expire ping. Write down that on end game. So once this is done, it shall end the game. My game's right now ended, so it doesn't do anything. I'll show you guys later how it works. So. 
if you got this down, all you have to do, all you have to do is get another, get another game chip. Go to go to this. Get to the first page and get games. Down. Press the start button on the scoreboard to play. So you're just gonna move this and make it when um oh so make it so game started it goes to this chip and when game is ended it goes to this one so the point is when it's on this side the game is ended and on this side the game the game starts so that means the timer won't be starting until you start the game and get on that side. If you want to restart the timer, all you have to do is go to props, go to dynamics, first page button, click wire on this, wire this all the way to the to the reset. And then click Press it, the stop button on the and scoreboard then the timer to play. Reset, and then you can just delete it. If you want to, if you can keep it, if you want to. So once that's done, you got this all started. You got this all set up, and that's how you make a quest timer, or just a timer, really. If you guys want to see me do more how to rec room how tos. Just um, type it in the comment section down below, and I'll do more. Um, I really, I really tried my best on doing this. If it doesn't work for you, oh yeah, um, then then you're probably um, just making your time too long, too short. Because if you keep it too short, right when you start the game, it'll just like give you. Press the stop waiter, button on the school board It'll to just play. start going down already before you start the game. But let's test it. So if I go all the way down here, I can click start game. And it should start the game. And I'm just waiting. Game on! So when game's on, <laughs> it should teleport me into the game, to my quest. And then I go over here, and I check the timer. It's going out. I also have this timer, so this one's gonna end before the other one. Game over! See? And then it ends. Right there. See? That's how you make... That's how you make... Your timer for game ending and starting. I hope you liked this video. Subscribe for more. I love you, fam. Ready to.